This video is a public service announcement about the AMD chip swap scam. TLDR, AMD chips replaced with counterfeits inside authentic retail packaging. The seal is intact, the box is undamaged, but the chip is fake. It affects new units sold in stores, even a big name electronics retailer. It affects AMD 5000 series CPUs, which don't come with a CPU cooler. This video summarizes the scam. In another video, I perform a full demonstration of the swap technique on an unopened Ryzen 5950X box without breaking the seal or damaging the box. There's an active scam where counterfeit AMD Ryzen 5950X CPUs are sold in authentic packaging with the holographic seal intact. I know it's active because I was a victim of the scam. I bought my CPU new in a retail box direct from a physical store from Best Buy Canada in Ancaster, Ontario. When I bought it, the holographic seal was intact and the box was largely undamaged, but the chip inside was an entirely different model that had been doctored to look like a Ryzen 5950X. To prove the switch is possible without breaking the seal or damaging the package, I performed the swap with a new sealed Ryzen 5950X retail box extracting the CPU safely and replacing it with my trick here. That full demonstration video is linked to in the description, or you can watch it sped up in the corner here. Right now, I'll just summarize with what you need to know. This switch scam is possible for Ryzen 5000 series CPU retail boxes, those which do not come with a CPU cooler. I'll show you what these boxes look like on the inside. Against this side is the inner packaging for the CPU, some paperwork, and where the CPU cooler used to be, there's this cardboard spacer device. The spacer is the problem. Whereas the solid cooler would firmly secure the inner CPU packaging against the side of the outer package, this spacer can be deformed to create space within which an attacker can manipulate and open the inner packaging and cause the chip to drop out. Once the chip is out of the inner package, it's a simple matter to manipulate it around and to this gap and out through this gap in the packaging, all without breaking the seal or causing damage to the box. The fake chip itself is doctored to look like the chip the box is supposed to contain. In my case, it was a sticker that matched the text and graphics of the real chip's surface. What you can do to protect yourself. AMD's own guidelines on how to determine the authenticity of their retail boxes is linked to below and is worth reading. It has four points. One is to make sure that the box is sealed with no signs of tampering. Two, authenticate that the holographic seal is properly holographic. Three, scan the QR code on the seal to verify product details. And four, confirm that the serial numbers on the CPU viewed through the window match those on the seal. While these are good guidelines, unfortunately, they may not be enough to detect this sort of counterfeit because the seal is authentic and passes all tests for authenticity. And at least in the case of the one I bought, the serial number on the counterfeit chip matched the serial number on the box. That said, be on the lookout for any signs of tampering. Even small ones should be treated as major red flags. Here on the box that I bought that had the counterfeit chip, you can see some superficial wear here, here, and here, as well as some tearing at the corner of this flap. These are signs of the swap technique being done by someone either less careful or working faster than I am in my own demo, resulting in this minor damage to the box. These are telltale signs of the swap technique. And it was analysis of these signs that enabled me to deduce the switch procedure. But again, as I demonstrated, it's possible to do the switch with scarcely any box damage. Another thing you should do is closely inspect the CPU through the box window for any signs that it is a fake. An authentic chip has the lettering laser etched 
whereas a fake one may just use a printed sticker, which will reflect differently, though the plastic cover of the inner packaging complicates that inspection. Here in these two images, you can see that the distinction between real and fake can be subtle. Otherwise, you just have to be on the lookout, be extra vigilant and informed about the possibilities for fraud. That's why I made this video to inform customers, retailers, and the manufacturer that this switch technique is possible. It's actively being used for criminal counterfeiting with an unknown number of these tampered boxes out there. Businesses and customers should inspect the packages very closely before you open them, preferably before purchase, and question any packaging damage. Retailers, Ensure your security procedures are not reliant on the seal because the seal doesn't rule out tampering. Inspect your goods for other signs of tampering like the ones I showed you. And you should do this whether it's coming down in your supply chain or being returned by customers. The box with the counterfeit chip that I purchased was not due to a customer returning it after tampering with it because the store confirmed to me that there had been no prior purchases and returns of the box I purchased so it had entered their supply chain some other way. This swap can be achieved in minutes and requires little or no equipment. AMD, your tamper evident packaging system has a major vulnerability in this spacer. If shrinking the overall package isn't an option, considering this making the spacer more solid or less deformable. This technique depends on being able to make space for manipulating the inner package. So eliminating the ability to make that space should fully mitigate this vulnerability. I don't know the extent of the counterfeiting. I'm only aware of my case, but I doubt I am the only victim. This swap method is easy to do and hard to detect. Be careful. Don't get scammed.